What's going on guys? I'm here with the Marvel's Avengers video and today is a guide on completing the Mighty Jane Foster Heroic Mission Chain which will reward you with audio files to tell her story as well as legendary Apex power set gear and a takedown. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Step 1 says to interact with Mjolnir on the Helicarrier. So what you want to do is go on the war table and just spawn yourself in the Helicarrier social space. After that, go ahead and follow the path that I'm taking, which will lead to Thor's room. Hello, Thor. Careless of Odinson to leave you here alone. After you've interacted with Mjolnir, an animatic will start to play, and this is to show the story of Jane Foster and how she came across in meeting the Avengers. After you're done with that, you can now move on to step two, which has three objectives. So the first one is to defeat 40 riot bots or Aegis enemies. The second is to complete any drop zones three times. And the third one is to complete any threat sectors two times. If you don't know what the riot bots or Aegis enemies are, that's okay. I will show them on screen by going to the codex files where a bunch of enemies are listed. Regarding to the drop zones and threat sectors, of course, like I said in the description, you can play any one of them. You're not restricted to playing a specific one. So to identify which one's a drop zone, it's going to be the little objective looking icon, while the threat sector is the helmet looking icon. In this video, I will show you my personal a favorite mission to play to just getting this objective done quickly. And for drop zones, I like to go to the Wakanda region and do the illegal aim patrol. It's very quick, very fast mission, so it's very easy to get done. And the second for threat sector is in the eastern seaboard region called and we're back that was embarrassing <laughs> for them for you very impressive once you have completed all of those objectives you should now be on step three step three has two objectives one of them is to defeat 30 enemies with God Bless, and the second is to complete any villain sector two times. If you don't know what God Bless is, just hover over to her skill tree, move over to the specialty tab, and it's going to be your Assault Heroic. For villain sectors, you can find them in the future wastelands, Pacific Northwest, Snowy Tundra, and Eastern Seaboard. You, you now you should be on step four. Step four goes back to three objectives and the first one is to defeat 50 Synthoids and Proto Synthoids. Second is to complete any hives two times and the third is to complete any vault mission two times. Again, I will show on screen what those enemies look like if you are unaware of them. The highs and vault missions are located in the Utah Badlands, Pacific Northwest, and Snowy Tundra region. Once again, the description, like I said, you can play any one of them. There's no specific ones that you have to play.
longer a threat. A mighty okay, victory! After all that's done, yet again, you are finally on the last step. Thankfully, it only required five steps, but it was a lengthy process. So we're back with the three objectives. And the first one is to perform 25 takedowns. Second is to reach level 35. And the third one is to complete flashback or villain sectors four times. Flashback missions are the ones that have a little time icon on it. So be sure to choose one of those if you want to. Thing to keep in mind is that these type of missions do reset daily just like priority missions so you're gonna have to mess around and swap through different regions to find where it's located but otherwise you can just repeat the villain sector four times if you really wanted to what i did in this case i did one of the flashback missions and then i repeated this taskmaster villain sector three times <laughs> The takedowns, what I'd usually do is use Jane's signature attack, which is where she spins a hammer while attacking. The same that Thor's does. I usually find that pretty effective to fill up the stun meter. But in this case, I was glitched out in the game, I guess. I got into the corner and it made all those guys, for some reason, available to take down. So I took that to my advantage and I literally did like 15 of those. It was pretty insane. Like you see on the screen, you see I have completed the mission chain. You will be rewarded with some audio files. You'll get some Apex Power Set gear that is legendary and you will get a takedown for her which if you notice it is legit the same thing that thor has and here's a side-by-side -side comparison it is literally the same takedown i wish they should have at least gave us a free new takedown quote unquote new takedown a few ones that she has so that would have been nice but it is what it is if you guys have any questions or need any more help please be sure to let me know down below in the comments i'll try to get back with you as soon as possible that covers it for today's video. Hopefully this guide was helpful. If so, please be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.